I also wanted to add a sentence there, if possible, if okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, for s- some of these uh, parts, we may not require a single-page application. So I was wondering if we could use a template and embed uh, KRAD into the template as opposed to just to HTML. So where the template knows how to bind the uh, the form fields to the to the model. So that takes a lot of that that helps a lot with the uh, binding where you have HTML. You have to do it yourself. When you say template, can um, you talk a little bit more about what but you mean JSP by that? JSP or or free marker. Free marker template. Okay. So you, you want to create a free marker template and embed and, and embed KRAC components in that. Yeah, the same thing that you want to do with HTML, if it can be done also with a template. We might need to talk about that because I'm not sure exactly what you mean because we do that currently. You know, a free marker template will invoke other components within it. So I don't think I'm quite understanding. Well, we, we can go through an example if you want later. Yeah, let's this, this, this take that offline when we talk more about okay. that. Yeah. Uh, was that Jose in there? Yeah. Okay, so this is... For you. Yes, it was. The next, the <laughs> next slide's for you. Just for you. This is all Hossein's um, concept. Um, he he wanted the ability. He, first, he started. It'd be great to be able to have HTML in KRAD. Be even better to be able to embed KRAD components in HTML and be the best to have tag like you know um, components. Free marker support. Uh, so again. I'm, I, what I'm doing right here is just looking at short-term things that we could possibly do to help, you know. Um, so one concept that we could potentially move forward with on this content tag again, building off this. So this has HTML within it, um, and it can have expressions, client side, whatever. So um, I call this tag-like components or components on the fly. So you find your uh, content tag and you Define your attributes just like you normally would. Like I have two attributes here, show title and course area, right? Those then become properties of the component. You just created a component that has two properties. Or if you think of it in tags, you just created a tag that has two parameters. So you can read the values for those, do an if statement, do a loop, um, call, you know, using the spring expression language again. And then that can get invoked in other places in your XML by referencing that parent there, KS course, and then passing different values for those attributes. So, um, again, that's just conceptual, but I, I do think it's all possible without a great amount of work. So that really gets you to the point where you, you have kind of the best of both worlds. You have all that that uh, kind of tag-like JSP ability, HTML ability, and the KRAC components. Um, so that's some possible, right, again, just to make this clear, right now all we do is have the content component itself, HTML with expressions. But that's some things we could potentially do in the short term if this is a, a route that college student wants to start pursuing. Now, the things to think about with this um, uh, you know, you really want to think about what your strategy is going to be, uh, how you're going to use this. Um, some things that I think could potentially happen. Um, we all know the next thing I'm going to talk about, the learning curve of KRAD, right? The developer wants to do something. They're not quite sure how to do it in KRAD, but they know how to do it in HTML, so they write the HTML to do that, okay? Um, now you have something that's possibly different from how KRAD provides it, you know, and you're supporting that custom HTML. If you want to, we make a change to the component, you know, so forth. You guys know about what I'm saying there, right? Um, It's a maintenance issue. issue. The other thing, too, and this is one of our really important questions on our community survey we're putting out, is how important is that uber, super level of customization that Spring provides you to your project and your institutions? implementers. So with this content tag here, uh, this is essentially one property this component has, and that's markup. So um, an institution is not going to be able to get in there and tweak any of this inner HTML. 
then it's going to override the whole thing. It's just like JSP tags, okay? So that's a question that, you know, as a project, you need to kind of think about how it's important for you guys, how important is that for you guys uh, and your implementers. So there's some, there's some trade-offs there. Uh, you know, there's also other things um, in, in terms of when you start go, going custom HTML, you know, are you aligned with the stuff that's coming out of the UXI project? Are you aligned with accessibility? And you know what I mean? So um, it's I, I would definitely recommend having that discussion before you just let developers know you can start putting the HTML in. <laughs> yeah. So for these constructs, are you looking towards free marker for inspiration or... Um, let's say let's take the loop loop tag as an example. Or yeah, yeah. These and this is not set in stone. Yeah, sure, yeah. we can create those, but yeah, I, I that's just what kind of line at first. But okay. yeah, yeah. These uh, everything the evaluation of this would all still be done with the EL Spring yeah. expression language. Yeah, it certainly wouldn't be. This wouldn't be like full blown free marker. We would have a, a few. Well, I was kind like of going there. <laughs> yeah, that's another route we could look at. Uh, it's just we would have more challenges with that because, well, we'd have to figure out how to invoke the free marker. Yeah, one of the advantages could be that the error reporting that comes out of free marker is excellent. And, you know, if you had an error in a custom component, then we'll get into issues with how would you report that error back to the yeah. developer. Yeah. If we're focusing on developer productivity, they need to know where they made a mistake. That's a good point. Yeah. 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 I haven't, yeah, that's a good point. So definitely something to think about when we decide to implement this. All right. I want to, I know, are we okay to take a few more minutes? Or? Mm -hmm.